Good morning. Sorry, I was like five minutes late. I should just schedule it for five past. Um, oh, sensitive teeth as well. Don't know why that is. Yes, good morning. Oh, I'm well behind on the date. We've been away. Twenty first of April. Yeah, we've been to Torquay. It was lovely. Um, yes, I'm midweek live. <clears throat> is it midweek? Is it Thursday? It's Thursday, isn't it? Um, yeah. Uh, yes. Good morning, Rachel. Good morning, Rosie. Good morning, Tom Bell. Good morning, Vicky. Yes. Good morning, all. So, yeah, quite a big haul, I think. Good morning, Caroline. Um, uh, maybe it's like a usual Monday haul. It's a haul from two boots, a couple of trousers, a pawn shop, and a little antique centre. Well, it, calls it, it called itself an antique centre. It was like it was like an indoor boot. It was kind of just like a second-hand, absolutely bizarre, absolutely weird. It's a bit like a boot sale, but undercover. You'll see when I show you what I got from there. But... Uh, yeah, very happy. Um, only a couple of fails, I think. It's pretty good going for me. Uh, so as usual, yes, let me know how your sales are. Um, I'm still. I'm going to show you just one thing that's going out because I showed you it when I picked it up, so I thought it might be of interest. And then I'll get into the haul. Sales um, picked up today, funnily enough. I think they were quite good over Easter, were they? So Easter Friday... Yes, I was like, oh, people are buying again. It was £131 turnover, and it went downhill from there. Saturday, £58. Sunday, £23. Jeez. Uh, Monday, 76 Then yesterday, no, Tuesday, 147 Okay, that's better. Yesterday, £15. £15. Uh, but today, already 95 So, fricking up and down at the moment. However, I am still, well, I've been cross-listing to Etsy and Vinted. Etsy, um, so there's about 300 listings on each of those. Etsy, there's people favouriting stuff and following me, but no one's actually buying anything. Um, haven't had a single sale. Vinted, on average, I've had about a sale a day since, so like kicked in after about, day and a half or something got my first sale but averagely I'm getting about a sale a day on vintage from 300 listings so liking that yes and I've had my I've got my first feedback of the first couple of bits have been delivered bought a few bits so I don't know how much I mean personally when people are favorite of my items and I'm like oh shall I send them an offer if I see they've got loads of reviews I'm like I feel safe I see they've got no reviews yet. I don't feel safe, which is awful because you need to start somewhere. Well, if it was a cheaper item, I wouldn't mind so much. But I'm not dealing with, you know, a gold chain on somebody with no reviews. Um, too risky. Um, so I don't know if having more reviews will help my sales on there, hopefully. Mm. Rachel's sales were excellent over Easter. Yeah, I think it was... Um, yeah, people were buying again, weren't they? Morning, Crispy. How were your sales over Easter and Catherine's? Right, so, oh yeah, just to show you the two, um, do you remember me showing you these Marla Wynn vests, Marla Wynn layers, vests, tanks, um, this brand, which I, yeah, Marla Wynn layers. Just tanks, paid five pounds for the pair. Why one of that one bundled them up? Oh, Uncle Funny you aren't. And they sold this morning for twenty-seven pounds plus ship. So I'm happy with that. Nice and easy to post. Um, yeah, because the thing with um, vintage as well is there's all these different options for people to uh, choose how they want their parcel to go, and they buy the label. So. And I'm like, oh, so can the in-post stuff, do you have to go to one of those boxes or can I take it to where it takes my herpes pass? Oh, no, every parcel's now. So we did take everything to the parcel shop yesterday and they took it all. So, yeah, so still finding out about that because I haven't even used the in-posts before. Um, good morning, Debbie. 
Chris, really good over the bank holiday for sales. Yeah, I think, um, was it? Yeah, it wasn't like payday or anything, was it? It was just like people were like, we're treating ourselves, I think, because it's Easter, which is all good for me. Right, so I've got some hard goods down here, a load of clothes, some jewellery, and you will see some massive, not bed spreads, are they? Quilt things, bed toppers or something. I'll show you these. The lady I bought them from said she did them. She had a load. She said she um, actually stitched them. And I was going to just take one, like fibre, and then she said, oh, we can have the two for eight. I was like, oh, God, all right then. Um, so I was just going to have one. Oh, I was just going to have this nice big one at fibre. That's the back of it. But, yeah, really nicely done. Um, and I know you know, people will be going, oh, I'll put on Etsy, but um me and etsy aren't really friends so this this is this is the biggest one i need to find out how big it is oh well i'll measure it but yeah eight for the base and i would have thought it's got to be 25 to 30 on each back so happy with that um they're lovely actually wouldn't mind displaying that one for a bit and this one's this one's a bit smaller but yeah they're really nice um yeah met some lovely people so yeah literally tom's very good he found i said oh are there any food sales where we're gonna be so on the saturday no on the sunday easter sunday we went to the boot that was 15 minutes away and then that was on again on the monday and so while everyone was in bed i went to the boot came back and met him for breakfast so it was lovely um I'm going to quickly show the jewellery, otherwise I'll forget. Good morning, Richard. How are your sales over Easter? Good morning, Lee. Yeah, so in this, what called itself an antique centre, I went into this little Christmas shop and picked up these lovely, I don't know if they're cake toppers, they're ceramic. Um, and... I said to the lady, oh, how much are they thinking they're going to be expensive? And so vintage, yes, yeah, look like cake toppers. I think they're adorable. Um, Trent, oh, I just got those in a lot, 10 p each. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll take them all then. <laughs> 10 p each. So I haven't, uh, no, I've only sold like plasticky vintage cake toppers before. So anyway, they'll go in my Christmas pot. So I don't know what I'll put those on for. Or oh, feel like I'm going to sneeze. Hay fever is ripe at the moment. Excuse me if I have to sneeze. Right. I'm under control. Yeah. Um, a few brooches, which I got from, I know this is, I haven't seen this one before. It's Sarah Coventry. It's a lovely apple, 50p. Um, Sarah Coventry is not, you know, she doesn't sell for that much. It'd be like the tenner back on each of these. This really nice vintage carved, that's the back, like carved roses. Can you see that um, brooch? Where did I get those ones from? I think that must have been the boot as well. And I can't remember, but they were cheap. Really lovely, Mother of Pearl, Art Deco style one. Very, very nice. Very nice. Richard, not too bad. Averaged around £110 a day across the four days. That's all right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I try and average like 100 a day turnover on eBay, but it's not always interested. So at the moment, my last seven days is about 500 but the 90 day is over 9K, so... It's um, balancing out overall. Yeah, so these are modernist. That's like a Rivoli um, little ring, 20p. I love it when people say stuff like that. Uh, right, now into the juicy stuff. So I'm going to have to go and blow my nose in a minute. These aren't staying on my fingers, but the plan, I think, with the gold 
is to put it on near Christmas. And fingers crossed, if eBay do their, they did like a week, or they, I think they did it twice for business sellers, did a reduced fee, reduced fee offer on final value fees. And I got all my gold on then um, and hope to sell it within that time, but especially if it's just for Christmas. I did sell a lot of gold then. So I will be storing this these little nuts away for Christmas time and hoping for a final, an FEF deal from eBay. Anyway, so incredibly, I got this lush buckle, nine carat buckle ring. I know it's not doing an, an, my little fingers any favours, but fully hallmarked. Got that from a pawn shop. A pawn shop where you take stuff to, you know, get some money. Um, anyway, yeah, we were just coming down some little street and I was like, hang on, hello. Like, because there were rings in the window. So like, what's this? Um, yeah, pawn shop, 40 quid for that. And how much does it weigh? I was like, Christ, you know, nice old gold, all marked. Anyway, given that the nine carat scrap value is about £17 at the moment, or it was the other day, 2.16 grams. It's virtually scrap value then. It's virtually, yeah, it's pretty much scrap value, which is freaking amazing. Uh, this one wasn't scrap value. This is nine carat and blue topaz. Paid 110 for that. Um, usually look with these sort of the gold things to double my money, um, which is would definitely be easier near Christmas. More <laughs> well, than I sold though. That's the fun of it, isn't it, Richard? Um, right, so Ringo's here. I'll just take you through them. So I've got these four from the boot, all uh, nine carats. Deal she did me was 170 for these uh, for these four. I've weighed them, you know. I mean, obviously there's stones in there, but it's virtually scrap value. Not much over. I think that's an opal. That one's a diamond. Can't see what that is. Oh, aquamarine or blue topaz, probably blue topaz, and onyx. Now this signet ring, they're so popular at the moment. I'll be looking for 150 back on that and do that near Christmas. Um, I'll be looking to double my money on those. These silver rings were mental. The lady had like costume and all mixed in. I was like, oh, how much is your jewelry? I'm sure which one. So I picked these out from two pounds each. I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> like, and they're silver. These, this is a QVC one, so is that. Um, yeah, silver rings, which I can I sell I put them on at 25, take 22.50 on those. Um yeah, mental. Uh, and I paid eight pounds each for these silver rings, which is, you know, I'm happy to do. They're nice, nice big stones. That is a lovely moss agate in there. Um, yeah, and everything's stamped, so can't help myself. Yeah, but I mean, there's money to be made in all of that, so you know, why not? That's what I say. Um, and then I can just look after some for a little while. Uh, What I might do is blow my nose because I can feel myself snotty. So talk amongst yourself. Oh, can I, I can mute it? Can't I want to blow my nose? You don't have to listen to me honking into my tissue. Can I mute it? Yeah, That's better. Right. So I'll do the hard goods and then the people that don't want to see the clothes can buzz off then, can't they? So a right little collection, just a little collection. Bought blooming bags. I was sort of say, don't buy bags because they're really hard to sell. And then it's like I opened the bag door. I bought some from one woman and then I was off buying bloody bags. Ah. Uh, so, right, this isn't a bag, actually. I really liked this brass figure. I don't know if it's somebody. Oh, it's got a ball in the hand. I don't know if it's a bag. There is one on eBay at the moment on auction. It's got a bit of tenor so far. I paid three. I immediately didn't really want 
I kind of thought, don't really want to list that. So I'll see if theirs goes for white right money, I'll list it. If not, I will take it to the boot. Um, some and these I just checked are working. Oops. I think these are vintage. Um, I mean, vintage only has to be 20 years. Uh, fairy lights. This is the plug. Plug says Premier or something on it. Is it Premier? Yeah. That's the plug. It's slightly molded. But I am I was like, hmm, it doesn't look, you know, like now, now. So I, see, I paid £1.50, I think. I see, you know, no Christmas. I mean, they're not really old vintage. They've been made to be retro, but I don't know. It's got 10 to 15 or something it's got to be, isn't it? Um, some pillowcases. Paid a pound each on these. I remember this. I was thinking my friend had this, late 80s, St. Michael, and it does say on the back. I saw the date somewhere. Oh, yeah, 1988. Um, pair of yeah, pillowcases, uh, tapestry. Yeah, 15 to 20, I think. Back on those. Then the dormer, I'll get this dormer clearance off. Alhambra, this is called. These, the dormer pairs of pillowcases go like about 25 quid so yeah i'll aim for those uh some kath kidston floral shoes i think i paid two pounds or a size seven not really um quite cute but not really i was this is for the woman i bought bags from i was like what the frick am i doing and then i was like yeah because i was saying oh yeah i love those as well um but i've stuck those on vintage and i probably just go for a tenner but it's still a profit, that'll go quick. Um, <clears throat> a little Filofax with the F, a little, is it Kent, Kentwood? Pocket Kent, a little other Filofax, but I don't usually see this. It's got a Filofax little pencil with it, a little retractable pencil. So I thought I almost pulled that out and then I saw it said Filofax on it. But still, I think these only go for about 12 quid. But I paid a pound, 12 This is a bit more interesting. CK1 soaps, Calvin Klein. It's only got, it's only got one in it. And uh, she had 50p. And I thought, well, I'll have it though at 50p. And I think this might be discontinued, these soaps. And somebody sold a pair for £35 recently. So 50p into for 15 pounds on those discontinued uh toiletry stuff is fabulous uh, now the lady i bought the pumps from this is where her mum knitted this this bag um i just quite liked that actually maybe i should i don't know what i was doing i don't know 50p for that hand knitted bag another kind of hippie bag there i need to ban myself again it was 50p this one's Rather nice. This reminds me of Cheryl Pound Girl, actually. I think she actually likes the handles, these bamboo. Um, yeah, quite roomy, actually. But I don't think I couldn't get it over my... Oh, I could get it over my shoulder. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah, 50p. I think, I think Cheryl might be aiming for 15 to 20 or something on hers, so that's all right. Um, oh, yeah. I've got quite a long candle snuffer. That's pretty old as well. They're usually a lot smaller than this. So that'll be a Q4 one. Long handled candle snuffer. I like that. I think I'm going to pay 50p or something. I can't remember. Now, the bags. This is the last of the bags, but I think they're goodies. Three Kipling bags for a fiver. And they've all got the monkeys. But so cute but um one one had a bit of pen on it on the inside so she said we can have all three for a fiver the girls may nab i've already nabbed one i've nabbed this one it needs to go through the machine the girls may nab the others one each but you can't go wrong can you for a fiver three kipling bags of the monkeys i think these sell all right 
I think some of these, sell, you know, I think it would they would sell for like 20, 25 quid with the monkeys. Might be wrong on that. I'm not up on bags really, but yeah, three for a fiver. Love the bags. Yeah, they're lush, aren't they? I don't, but yeah, not really for. I shouldn't. I don't know. The rainbow one might do all right actually. Um, and the Kiplings would if I, if the girls don't want them. So I was inspired by Sarah Resells did a story the night before the Monday boot, I think. Yeah. Morning, Joe. Um, and lucky she did because I didn't know about picking up tea towels. Well, Irish linen tea towels or certain ones. So did flex on the ground, but it's so amazing to have watched someone's story, them say, oh, these, you know, the ones that go for good money are this. Go to the boot the next day, go, oh, there's tea towels down there, have a look. Oh, there's one. It was fantastic. So this one, I didn't flex this one. This is, so I paid 350 the other two and 50p for this, but this is going to go in a job block. Um, I'm just going to collect some linen tea towels and job lot them. Royal Engagement by Ulster, Made in England. Oh, yeah, Irish linen. Um, so certain ones are collectible, certain ones, yeah, just job lot, really. Um, but I'll, so I'll put that one away for if I get a load more. This one's a cutie. This is, uh, is this Irish linen and cotton. On cotton and Irish linen. It says by textile impressions. And I thought, oh, that's a cute one. That's got to be like 10, 12 pounds back. So it was 350 for this one. Um, and they're from the 1970s, the lady was telling me. But this is the corker. This elephant. God alive, it's gorgeous. Um, but I can't cope with any more kitchen ornaments because I just want to hang it on the wall. Um, but it was a design for Oxfam. And these, uh, there you go, let's see Oxfam. Um, these are collectible. I looked on Terrapeak and the average sold price for these Oxfam ones is £35 a tea towel. <laughs> £35. So, yeah, it's been sold. <laughs> But yeah, freaking be I couldn't believe it that Sarah just mentioned it. The next morning I'm like, oh, some tea towels down there, let's have a look. Oh yeah, there's one. Like <laughs> so I, oh, I love that. Because I would I literally wouldn't have looked otherwise. So thank you, Sarah. Right. On to clothes. Yeah. It's not gonna be too onerous, I think. How long? Yeah, 23 minutes, that's all right. So Yeah, I'm going to get some listing done today as well. Get some listing done and put some stuff away in my Q4. Well, I say a box, but it's actually this massive blanket box on wheels that I've got here and it's almost full. Uh, because we were away, I was quite... Oh, no, I'm just showing you something lovely. I was quite restrained and I saw lampshades I wanted. Almost bought this... Um, lovely uh, metal sculpture of birds which i i don't know if it was the one that people look out for and i've forgotten the name of it the artist may have just been a you know a, in the style of i, I did consult shell pound and she said yeah i would have got that <laughs> i was like mm, I, I think she did all right with her so 150 quid or something but never mind um it would have been hard to bring back but these buttes i do like these shell vase things, whatever you want to put them in. I did pay 20 quid for these, but I sold a pair last Christmas, much smaller than this, probably half the size. I got about 50 quid or something. They did pretty 40, 50 quid. They did quite well. So I thought, yeah, 20 quid, I'll go for that. Well, he said 25 and I was, I said, I'm just going to go for a wonder. And he went, well, 20 quid if you want them. I said, well, I was going to offer you 20 quid anyway. <laughs> um, the World War One. They are 1918, uh, sorry, 1914. It says 1914, actually. 
Yeah, oh, that's interesting. I've got one that's 1914 and one that's 1918. Yeah, it says the dates on, on the bottom. You won't be able to see that, but yeah, very nice. Right up my street, that sort of thing. Right up my street. Right, this some of this is less up my street, but um, kind of sometimes fill pick up stock because when it's quiet or everything's expensive, I'll be thankful for it. So this stuff is from listening to the ladies on Insta who have the clothing knowledge. Um, this is Monday. So this was $4.99 in fact. Monday. I was thinking it was vintage, but I don't think it is because I've been in the um the label resource, the vintage, what is it, the vintage fashion guild website label resource to check out the label and I don't think it's vintage got some amazing shoulder pads in it um and it's 100 silk so that should be all right there quite a special and it looks kind of 80s doesn't it quite a special blouse in a nice size oh 40 left it as a 12 but it's definitely bigger than that I think that's probably a 14 maybe so yeah Monday uh not really my scene but I just yeah this is more my scene. I like this. This is a size 12. It's a Roxy top, like surf top. It's only £2.50 and I think I'll stick that on Vinted. Um, I don't know. £10, I think. This is a vintage knitted tank waistcoat thing. Um, Harry Rosen. What did I pay for that? £3. Couldn't resist the print can't find much on him but it's very vintage so um i don't know what i'm gonna put on that yet so the trouble is when people aren't searching for the brand it's hard to so i'm not sure i'm not sure this i don't know how to pronounce this four pounds magasconi 100 cashmere for four pounds uh yes please and I get the impression, couldn't see any holes in it either. I get the impression that this is quite a nice brand. You could tell by that, well, it's 100% cashmere for a start, but the label looked quite juicy. Um, and some of these are good, and it, for change, it's not shrunk, because it's size medium. Might put this on in my Q, I put it in my Q4 box actually, but some of these go for like 50 quid. So that's quite a nice one. Um, Joe, how do you all feel about buyers with private feedback who send you an offer? It's for a low price item. Um, I have dealt with people with private feedback. Um, it's not as, it's a bit off putting to be honest, but if it's a low price item, then I would chance it personally. Uh, right. This is just cute. Weird fish, three pounds, probably paid a bit much for it really, but weird fish and it was because of the the, uh, the sunglasses. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it's only a 10, that's bigger than that, but just thought it was really cute. So I think that'll be a vintage. Now this is quite a nice one, 3.99. It's a wool, uh, well, size 20, but it's a vintage size 20. What I liked about it, well, I like this country kind of look, but I love this kind of suede type button things on the edges. But it's vintage Dax, and that's uh, an 80s label. I've been in the fashion guild again. Um, uh, should, should go for about 30 quid, that one. Might be for the winter. Uh, now at the boot, I bought three jumpers off of a lady for a fiver right at the start. This is going to go through the machine, but Marks and Spencer's, not vintage, not St. Michael, but yeah, what do you call these? Is it shawl necks? But obviously, nice covered button and the fair isle. So at Christmas time, probably 30 quid back on that. So there's two more that I've got in the bundle from her. Oh, yeah. One was this. An Orvis. I mean, I would have paid five for each for these in the chances. Well, more to be honest. Yeah, nice big size as well. Orvis cable knit XL. 
cotton. I love cotton jumpers. Um, don't know, 20 quid back on that, I think. And this might have been the third one I got from her. Brax is not a brand at all, um, but I liked the Argyle knit. What is it? What are you? Lamb's wool, 100% lamb's wool. But they don't seem to have much resale value. But, I, yeah, Christmas time, I think. I still get a bit of profit out of that. This is, I don't know. I It's made in England. It's acrylic. Again, I quite like the Argyles. I don't know if the Argyles are going to come in the same as Feral has. I mean, it's just a granddad cardigan. So, yeah. But it's made in England. So I might, yeah, I don't know, 12 to 15 maybe. I'm lucky. Um, Laura Ashley. I think this is lamb's wool. Two pounds pay for this one. It's a really long waistcoat, card, you know, sleeveless cardio, whatever you want to call it. So I thought, well, that'll go well at the moment with everybody stocking up on that. I mean, like coat guns and that are going well. That's going to go on vintage. Uh, so what did I pay two? So I might be able to get 15 on that and of course that's no fees so I'm happy with that this oh my god I love it I tried it on for me but it was a bit tight couldn't get the bottom uh, the top button done up but look how gorgeous that is and check out this label and I've been on the label resource again I paid 3.99 it's 1960s absolutely love it and look at the care label but can't find much you know that they're going for much on ebay in comps and it's just too nice to let go for hardly anything oh yeah look at the care label uh washing advice you can just see how old the label looks look at that just thought it was lovely i like it should be in a museum absolutely gorgeous yeah, so not sure where that's going yet. Oh, for how, well, it's a summer, isn't it? So, yeah. I don't want it to go too cheap. I want someone to look after it. Right, so also from the boot to pound for a two. This is a Sarah Resales job. Um, mustard cord. Corduroy size 12. Dungaree dress. So I think these go for about 15, so that's fine. Oh, this is, I think this was 50p and it's manta ray and a lot of people like their manta ray, which is, what is it, Debenhams, size 16, little summer tops, so that can go on now. I don't, I don't know what prices they go for. Um, this Urban Outfitters, still got its tags on, but unfortunately it's got a pull. I could pay 50p or a pound. Quite an oversize. I don't know what size it's. Oh, large. Quite an oversize. Uh, but there is a pull. You can see. So I might do it as a new with defects or something. Where is that? There. Um, which is a shame. It's a nice one. But yeah, cheap. Freaking love. Oh, it's an animal here. Paul and Shark used to pick up shirts, but I also love cotton jumpers. I love cable net. I love this green. Um, this was two pounds. It's a larger thing. Oh, XL, it says. Um, yeah. 20 or 25 back on that. Uh, this is unbranded, and I almost didn't pick it up, but it was 50p. Um, it feels like wool, you know, like, it feels like an overshirt waistcoat. It, it's got a nice sort of, looks handmade to me. It's got no branding. Oh, no, it wouldn't be handmade because it's got a 42 thing in it. Um, oh, it's got nice inside pockets. Or well, inside pocket. Anyway, I don't know. I'll try and get... 12 to 15 on that should be okay 
right just a few more bits of clothing and that's it that's not as big as i thought actually right i bought two of these for 50p it's just an mls tank because they were newer tags it's only 12.50 to start with well whenever that was how old are you does it say not sure not sure but anyway yeah i thought 50p a pop one's a 14 one's a 16 i'll just stick them on vintage quite like these little tank things and they're quite cute so um another block print skirt do you remember the one i got for 20p from the jumble this one was two pounds again just feels like it hasn't been worn indian cotton the last one went for 20 quid really quickly um so i've already put this one on ebay for 20 as well i like those uh this was the 50 oh, it was a pound actually nomads it's an ethical brand size 40 i tried it on but it was too big for me it's a lovely print lovely print dress if it had been my size i would have kept this this is indian cotton and it's lined I can't remember where I've put this. I think vintage. Um, might put it on for 15 so that I can, everything I put on vintage, I'm pricing so that I can uh, knock a few quid off, send an offer out, or accept an offer of a few quid less. But you know, getting a tenner back on stuff each time, so jobs are good for me. Um, last thing. Not what I would usually pick up. Connie even tried this on for a prom. I was a bit shocked. Like, oh, are you considering a dress? Because I could have been lobbing dresses at you. We went to some trousers like that you could have worn. She didn't tell me that till we'd finished. Uh, coast size 10, strapless, fit and flare, kind of wedding prom dress. No issues with it. Get this 50p. 50p in a charity shop and I said it was in a like a bin I said is there is there a problem with it is it like you know why is it 50p and he said no just you know then it goes to half price then it goes to like 199 and then it goes in the 50p bin <laughs> I was like, oh my god I've been that bin constantly if I lived closer yeah so that's going on vintage yeah I think that's it um so not bad I've got to work out what I spent for my books because usually when i go to the boots i i have you know 100 quid here and i know what's in that purse and then when i come back and work it out really easily but i kind of was a bit less organized because i wasn't at home i didn't know what i was doing so i've got to um work it out uh oh is everybody still with me yes 31 people watching you're all very quiet um yeah that's not too bad is it 38 minutes i thought it was gonna take longer than that uh gorgeous day outside gonna get some Actually, I need to put some of this in the wash, get some more washing dry out there. Yeah, so yeah, we had a lovely uh, time away. It was a bit, it was a bit sort of home from home because Connie has got GCSEs coming up and she's just been to Iceland, so she needed to get some revision done. I said, well, we can, what we can do is we left her doing some revision, went out and then we'd meet her at a certain time and then do something together and then, so she could, she didn't want to come to be honest she said i'll just stay at home and do a revision no he's not staying at home um but yeah just very pleasant time i've got to do my favorite sourcing and drinking and eating it's a love alone yeah so i think that'll be it uh what do we yeah thursday so kids back to school hopefully monday so i should be on normally normal haul on monday Oh, I hope this weather lasts for the boots. Get some stuff at the boots this weekend. Yeah, Saturday, Sunday boots. Um, yeah, so I wish you all some lovely sales and enjoy the sunshine. Bye-bye, don't die. Oh, give me a thumbs up. Thank you for joining me.